All right, so hi, this is teacher John Art and welcome again to this video. And for today's video, I'll be studying about finding the remainder using congruences. To start this lesson, we'll have to define first modulo. A modulo is a math operation that finds the remainder when one integer is divided by another integer. So if you have integer a and integer b, you will have to have this a mod b to get the remainder r. For example, we have here 8 mod 3. 8 mod 3 is 2 because when you divide 8 by 3, you will get the quotient of 2 and the remainder of 2. Next one. 23 mod 5. 23 mod 5 is 3 because when you divide 23 by 5, you will get the quotient of 4 and with the remainder of 3. Last one. 347 mod 8. 347 mod 8 is 3 because when you divide 347 by 8, you will get the quotient of 43 with the remainder of 3. So this is what modulo means. I we'll just have to get the remainder. Now let's have this example. Find the remainder when 2 raised to 100 is divided by 15. So first step is you will need to have or to get the cycle of your base 2 by just raising it, it to 1, to 2, to 3, to 4, and so on until you get the remainder of 1 when you try to get the modulo of 15 since 15 is the divisor. For example, 2 raised to 1 is 2 and 2 mod 15 will give you the remainder of 2. Next one. 2 raised to 2 is 4. And 4 mod 15 will give you remainder 4. Last one uh, here we have 2 raised to 3. That's 8. And 8 mod 15 is Eight. Correct. And lastly, we have 2 raised to 4 is 16. And 16 mod 15 is 1. Because when you divide 16 by 15, you will get remainder of 1. So from this cycle, we have to raise 2 by 4 to get the remainder of 1 when you get the modulo of 15. So we'll be using this information to solve this problem. When you are tasked to find the remainder of 2 raised to 100, it's just, it's just having 2 raised to 100 mode 15 because you are tasked to find the remainder. Now, we can sim uh, simplify or we can um, simplify the 2 raised to 100 by 2 raised to 4 raised to 25. Because if you are given a raised to m raised to n, that's equal to a raised to m times n. And we were using 2 raised to 4 because we all know that 2 raised to 4, mod 15 will give you 1 from our previous calculation. So substituting the 2 raised to 4 to 1, we have now 1 raised to 25, mod 15. And 1 raised to 25 is just 1, mod 15. Thus, the remainder when 2 raised to 100 divided by 15 is just 1. 
Next one. Find the remainder of 2 raised to 35 when divided by 7. So here, the same process, you just have to get the cycle of 2 that will give you the remainder of 1 when you get the modulo of 7. So 2 raised to 1 is just 2 and 2 mod 7 is 2. Next is 2 raised to 2 is 4 and 4 mod 7 is 4. Next, 2 raised to 3 is 8 and 8 mod 7 is 1. 8 by 7 will give you the quotient of 1 and remainder 1. So that's 8 mod 7 is 1. So we already get the cycle in, in which you get the remainder of 1 when you get the modulo of 7. Now, this um, question is just like um, 2 raised to 35 mode 7 since you are looking for the remainder. And the 2 raised to 35 can be simplified by 2 raised to 3 times 11 times 2 raised to 2. Why? We are using the information that gives the remainder 1, that is, 2 raised to 3. And note that A raised to M raised to N will give you A raised to M times N. And if you have A raised to M and A raised to N will give you A raised to M plus N. So in this case, 2 raised to 3 raised to 11, you will need to multiply the exponents 3 and 11. And 3 times 11 is 33. So our goal is to get 35. Correct? So you will need another exponent. So you will just have to add the exponents of 2 to get 35. So we have there 2 raised to 3 raised to 11 times 2 raised to 2 based on this algebraic rule or theorem. So in this case, 2 raised to 3 is just 1. So we have now the new equation. 1 raised to 11 times 2 raised to 2 mode 7. And 1 raised to 1 is just 1. And 2 raised to 2 is 4 mode 7. And 1 times 4 is 4 mode 7. Thus, 2 raised to 35 when divided by 7 will give us the remainder of 4. Next one. Find the remainder when 1, 2, 3 raised to 45 is divided by 5. As we can see here, the base 1, 2, 3 is bigger than our divisor 5. So if we will try to go directly with a cycle and raise this 1, 2, 3 to 1, to 2, to 3, and so on and so forth, it will give us higher number. So first step is, in this case, if you are given bigger base than the divisor, you will need to get the modulo first of the base by the divisor. So first step is, 1, 2, 3, mood 5. And that is 3. Because when you divide 1, 2, 3 by 5, it will give you the quotient of, I guess, 24. And then, remainder of 3. Alright? So, next, meaning, 1, 2, 3, mode 5 is 3, so they are congruent. So we can now manipulate this 3 instead of 1, 2, 2 3, and get the cycle. So 3 raised to 1 is 3, and 3 mod 5 is 3. Next is 3 raised to 2 is 9, and 9 mod 5 is 4. Next is 
3 raised to 3 is 27 and 27 mod 5 will give you the remainder of 2 and here lastly we have as we raise 3 to 4 that's 81 and 81 mod 5 is 1 so we have now this information that saying that 3 raised to 4 mod 5 will give us the remainder of 1 so therefore this 1 2 3 raised to 4 56 mod 5 could be rewritten into 3 raised to 4 raised to 114 because 4 times 114 will give us the will give us the product of 456 so this is the simplification of our first equation now 3 raised to 4 is 1 that's correct so replacing 1, we have now 1 raised to 114 modulo 5. And 1 raised to 114 is just 1. And 1 mod 5, the remainder is just 1. So therefore, 1, 2, 3 raised to 456 will give us the remainder of 1 when divided by 5. Next one. Find the remainder when 2020 raised to 2020 when divided by 21. So as we can see here, our base 2020 is bigger than the divisor 21. So first step is you will get the module of 2020 by 21. So we have 2020 mode 21 will give us the remainder of 4 when calculated. So we can now manipulate this remainder 4 instead of 2020. So 4 raised to 1 is 4. 4 mod 21 is 4. Next, 4 raised to 2 is 16. 16 mod 21 is 16. And 4 raised to 3 is 64. And 64 mod 21 will give you the remainder of 1. Because when you divide 64 by 21, that's the quotient of 3, remainder of 1. Now, this 2020 raised to 2020 mod 21 could be simplified into this equation here. So, we have 4 raised to 3 because we need to use the information that gives us the remainder of 1 when getting the modulo of 21 and 4 raised to 3 raised to 673 and 3 times 673 that's 2019 our goal is 2020 so we need to add one more exponent so we need to add another 4 raised to 1 based from the theorem that uh, satisfy this um, equation. So we have now this 4 raised to 3 raised to 673 times 4 raised to 1 mode 21. And 4 raised to 3 is just 1. So replacing the, the 1, we have now the new equation 1 raised to 673 times 4 raised to 1 mod 21 and 1 raised to 673 is just 1 and 1 and 4 raised to 1 is 4 so 1 times 4 will give us 4 mod 21 therefore the remainder of this problem is 4 all right so i hope you learned something about this video today and if you do so and if you do learn something about this video please try to solve this problem and try to present your solution in the comment section thank you so much